Imagine a force acting on you that is billions and billions of times stronger than gravity. Imagine that in addition to this huge force, there's an opposite force of equal size acting on you. The two forces acting on you would balance each other and have no noticeable effect at all. There is a pair of forces like these acting on you all the time, electrical forces. The enormous attractive and repulsive electrical forces between the charges in Earth and the charges on your body balance out, leaving the relatively weaker force of gravity, which only attracts. So where do electrical forces come from? They come from particles inside the atom. The protons in the nucleus attract the electrons and hold them in orbit. Electrons are attracted to protons, but electrons also repel each other. The fundamental electrical property that gives rise to all these attractions and repulsions is called charge. By convention, electrons are negatively charged and protons positively charged. Negative and positive mean opposite. They could just as easily have been named east and west or black and white. Neutrons have no charge. They aren't attracted or repelled by charged particles. Here's some things you need to know about atoms. Every atom has a positively charged nucleus surrounded by negatively charged electrons. All electrons are identical. The nucleus is composed of protons and neutrons. All protons are identical, and all neutrons are identical as well. Atoms usually have as many electrons as protons, so the atom has zero net charge. A proton has nearly 2,000 times the mass of an electron, but its positive charge is equal in size to the negative charge of the electron. The fundamental rule of all electrical interactions is that like charges repel and opposite charges attract. If an electron is removed from an atom, the atom is no longer neutral. It has one more positive charge than negative charge. We call a charged atom an ion. A positive ion has a net positive charge. It lost one or more electrons. A negative ion has a net negative charge. It gained one or more electrons. An object that has equal numbers of electrons and protons has no net electric charge. But if there's an imbalance in the numbers, the object is then electrically charged, and this imbalance is a result of adding or removing electrons. The innermost electrons in an atom are bound very tightly to the oppositely charged atomic nucleus. They're not going anywhere. The outermost electrons of many atoms are bound loosely and can be ejected. Right now, the sweater is neutrally charged. It has the same number of protons and electrons. If I take the balloon and rub it, the balloon becomes negatively charged, and now that the sweater is missing some electrons, it's positively charged. Electrons are neither created nor destroyed, but only transferred from one material to another. This principle is known as conservation of charge. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.